Good afternoon, Internet. I am just going to walk around my neighborhood a bit. I figured this would be a nice thing to do. I'm actually recording this on my tablet this time. Uh, let me know what you think. It's kind of an overcast day, so don't complain too much about the lighting. <laughs> um, at least my tablet's capable of recording 1080p video, so let's see how well this works. Not to mention my tablet has far more space on it, so I can actually record a fairly large amount of data right now. I apologize for the seasickness. It is not something I'm used to doing recording on a tablet like this. On the plus side, oh boy, can I see where I'm going. <laughs> um, it is a very nice and cool day here. I believe it's about 17 degrees Celsius, so that would be, I don't know, what, uh, 65, 67? Eh, something like that. Um, I'm just going to go walk around the block a bit. I figure those of you that are actually in Florida might like to see the changing colors of leaves and such. Um, we've actually had some storms here recently, so a lot of leaves have just been blown down. Hence all of the leaves everywhere. See? Leaves. Um, so, let's see. What's going on? Uh, I'm still rather tired. I think it might be coming down with something. Not entirely sure. Um... Love the weather, though. I mean, this is pretty close to ideal. A um, couple of degrees warmer is probably what I consider perfect. This is easily close enough to perfect, though. Ah, uh, nice, pretty colors and such. Eh, I think I'll walk this way. So, um, I believe the last time I walked around like this, it was kind of snowy out. And this was back when I was buying a house rather than actually owning a house. Yes, I did actually record a I think I'm going to buy this house video for my current place. Uh, I, I can try to link to it. I should have enough time to do that. I'm probably going to end up, I don't know, maybe editing this, maybe not. Depends on how long this ends up being. I uh, wonder how much of the ambient noise you all can hear. Can you hear the leaves that I'm stepping on? Can you hear the random music coming from very loud vehicles nearby? Not sure. Um, maybe you can even hear the wind that's blowing. If so, I'm sorry. I was trying... I mean, this is not that windy of a day, so... Shouldn't be too windy. I wonder when that stopped. I have no idea. I just happened to have glanced down and noticed that it was not recording. Well, crap. Um, hold on a moment. I am going to see where it stopped at so I can actually figure out where I need to pick up speech-wise. So, apparently my recording stopped way, way back in there. Sorry about that. Um, so, I guess I'll re-go over what I was already going over. So, first off, we've got a, um, as some of you may have noticed, I speak and think metric. Um, I've actually stopped using Imperial units almost completely. I, occasionally, if I refer to Florida temperatures, I think in Fahrenheit. The reason for that is that I converted from Fahrenheit to centigrade in college. I figured, you know, that was a reasonable time to convert. Um, I was going from South Florida, where I never really needed to think more than, you know, 60 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit to northeast Indiana, where I needed to think all sorts of different temperatures. So, since I already didn't know what 40 degrees Fahrenheit felt like, I can learn what 5 degrees centigrade feels like. I am actually going to take another loop around, because, well, what else am I going to do? Um, so, anyway, um, the reason why I converted from Fahrenheit to Celsius is very simple. I was already thinking in every other metric term at this point. Uh, yay trees. Really wish that the video had not cut out. That was unfortunate. Um, so, I prefer metric. It's logical. I don't have to remember, you know, 12 inches in a foot, 5,280 feet in a mile, things like that. No. What is with these numbers? I mean, yes, I understand base 16, base 12, and 
those are very easy to have fractions of, but 5,280, really? Uh, let's see. So this is basically a nature walk. I'm looping around a park, by the way. See? Park. Um, I was doing a nice, simple, ordinary loop, and then I realized that I wasn't recording. And, no, that's terrible. So, let's see. Um, this is one of the routes that I walk. This is my quick route, basically. It's a rather short route. I can loop around it and think it's about 10 minutes tops. I can even shorten it down to more like 7. Um, so, anyway, as I was saying, metric. Metric is awesome. I don't know why people use Imperial anymore. Seriously, I don't particularly care if you grew up in the U.S. and you just know off the top of your head how much a gallon is. You know what? It's actually not that hard to convert. And believe it or not, Celsius makes just as much sense as Fahrenheit. The only difference is that I don't need to remember that boiling is 212 degrees. It's 100. It's not that hard. Um, and yes, technically you're losing a little bit of precision if you think in terms of Celsius. You know what? Most people can't tell the difference between 68 and 69 degrees Fahrenheit to begin with. What difference does it make? So, yep. Done ranting about metric. Um, the other question that I was having, which I was talking about as I was walking the section even, um, namely video editing. So, I mentioned in a previous blog that Green Tree Park, I used to live down that way. I don't know if you've seen some of the videos that I made. The little pond is down that way. It's a beautiful place. So, anyway, um, video editing. So, I was using a program from Magix, or I was attempting to use a program from Magix. I believe it's called Video Edit Plus Pro something really generic. Anyway, um, I bought it from Half Price Books, which is a chain used book video game software CD used media store. We'll go with that. Um, and no, technically the software was not used. I looked at the box again. It does say new on it. It's just, it was released four years ago. So, old. But not used. Anyway, um, it only cost me about 15 US dollars and it retails for something like 80. Doesn't matter. Point is that it crashes perpetually on me. I mean, I am talking, load the program, and in the background is the, this program from legal operation must be shut down. Or excuse me, this program has generated errors and will now be closed. It actually stays open during that, and even while that's open, it doesn't seem to do what I want it to do. Um, Let's see if I can do spin this around again and talk to myself. Sorry for the weird camera bit. Okay, so, um, ooh, weird. Anyway, um, we're talking about it not doing what I wanted to do. What I mean is that the audio is desynchronized from the video, and it's not just slightly desynchronized, it gets progressively worse as time goes on. Hmm. Oh, well, why not? Let's walk down this way. Um, I'm already having to merge a bunch of videos together anyway. So, point is, I can't use that program that I just bought. Makes me sad that I can't return it, but not much I can do about it. Um, if you're curious, part of the reason why I'm walking in the route that I am is to avoid taking video of people. It kind of makes me feel a little creepy. On the plus side, you get to see all the lovely, lovely trees everywhere. I really like this neighborhood. So glad I moved here. Um, not so happy about the house itself, but I'm perfectly happy with the neighborhood. Um, so, I, for my video editing, I have gone back to video editing under Linux. Um, I am not using the program I was using before. Oh, so I should mention um, the problem that I've discovered with the Magix video editing is that it can't quite figure out what frame rate I'm recording at. Um, being in an NTSC country, my default frame rate is 30 frames per second. Uh, for some reason, it thinks it's like 23 point... No, it was 26.5, or some weird number that is obviously wrong. 
As a result, it's playing the audio at the correct speed, and the video slightly slower than normal, so over time it desynchronizes. It's great. Um, so, uh, I think this might actually be similar to the problem that I'm having with uh, OpenShot, the Linux program that I was using before. So, I have switched programs. I'm now using Kden Live, which unfortunately is also Linux based. Um, I say unfortunate, not that there's anything wrong with Linux, don't get me wrong. Oops. Let's not get my fingers there. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with Linux, it's just that my primary machine isn't a Linux machine. So I'm running this inside of a VM again. Virtual machines are not necessarily the greatest performing things in the world, especially since I'm just using VirtualBox and not something like Hyper-V, or VMware, or Zen, or insert lots of other technologies that I know about due to work, but... Well, it's the only one I've got that's free, and it's the easiest one to run under my Windows 7 machine. Anyway, um, Kden Live does let me thread multiple, or multi-thread, yeah, that's the proper phrase, which means that I can actually use more than one CPU core, so my render times aren't hour to two hours for a video. They're still really long, though, so I'm pretty sure it's very inefficient, but at least it's using all of my processors. Um, so as a result, I'm still looking for a different video editor. I'm thinking about, uh, Newegg currently has a deal, it's going on for another week or so, where I can pick up the previous version of Sony Vegas Pro for, like, 24 US dollars. It's a really good price, normal price is 130 US dollars, and I have actually used Vegas before. But I used it a long time ago. Um, give you an idea how long ago, Vista recently came out at that point. So that probably was more like Vegas 8, maybe Vegas 9. And I didn't exactly use a whole bunch of it. But I used a little. Oh, I remember that house. That house was the one that had the um, swastika in the basement. Hopefully it's been improved. Um, it looks like somebody's moved there at least. So, um, I don't know if anybody's even watching at this point because this is probably pretty long into the movie, even merged together, but um, does anybody have any preference, opinions? Unfortunately, most people that I've asked online, especially the more famous vloggers and things like that, they use Macs. I'm not a Mac person. I don't particularly like the um, anything dealing with a Mac. Don't get me wrong, there are good pluses for other people. Um, I am somebody who likes building my own computers, I'm somebody who likes fiddling around with all of the advanced settings, tweaking things to a very, very strong degree. I think I can go walk down that way. Um, I mean, I can walk down that way too, but then I'm going to be going slightly around my fist to get my thumb back. Um... So yeah, Macs are good for certain types of people. I am not one of those people, I admit it. I'm not a huge fan of their business practices either. But, well, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of vendors' business practices. Crunch, 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 crunch. Hooray, Autumn! So, does anybody else have any recommendations? I've also heard good things about uh, Adobe, Pre Adobe Premiere. The problem is that it's an Adobe product. It's almost as bad as Apple in my mind. Um, Adobe Premiere, Sony Vegas, and I have honestly not heard about any other major ones for Windows. So, tell me what you think. Um, if you've listened to this, make a comment, tweet, I'm at Aetherspoon, um, I'm on Facebook. You probably saw this from one of those sites anyway, so you probably know how to contact me. Mm, I like this neighborhood. Hmm, what else to talk about? Um, I mean, you already missed my tree fall, uh, tree branch falling story, most likely. I don't think that ended up getting recorded. It's kind of sad. I was walking down one of these paths, and um, there was, like, while I was walking, this would have been Saturday? Friday? One of these days. Basically, I would be standing here, and a tree branch fell right there. 
directly in front of me while I was walking. Um, I was mostly not paying attention. Um, when I'm walking around in these neighborhoods, I usually have my headphones on, plugged into either uh, Rathus, my cell phone, or Zan, my or Rathus or CL. CL being my MP3 player, Rathus being my cell phone. Um, sometimes it's not even playing anything. It's just plugged in so I can drown out some excess noise, but usually I'm not really paying attention. It's also one of the reasons why I'm walking much slower. It's not just to stop the seasickness, because I'm pretty sure I'm bobbing a lot. But um, it's mostly because I am having a hard time speaking and walking at the same time. It's kind of like walking and chewing gum. I'm not very good at that. I can do many things while I'm walking at the same time. Speaking is not one of them. It actually takes me quite a bit of thought in order to be able to speak without stuttering a huge amount. Um, somebody described it at one point is that I'm actually having to think in order to enunciate my words properly in the correct order. Otherwise, I start trying to jump ahead of myself. So I end up saying words out of order in the same sentence. Realize that I'm doing that stutter, stop, repeat. You get the idea. Um, I'll let you look at my ugly mug for a while. Uh, it's a very overcast day, as I mentioned earlier. Um, I still like it. It's quite nice. Soon everything will be turned white. And then it will be time for winter. Winter is coming. You know, I still haven't even watched or read any of the Game of Thrones. I still get all of the meme references. <sighs> do, 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 do. Have to look both ways before crossing the street. La 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 la. Yes, refocus. There we go. So, um, this has been a decently long walk. I'm within a couple of minutes of my house again. I will plug my tablet back into my desktop, copy all of the files over, uh, copy them over to my Linux VM, merge them together in KDEN, edit out some of the bits like where I was really confused as to whether it was recording or not. I might not edit those out. I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah. Vlog walk. By the way, if you like these, um, it'd be nice if I had a better way of actually recording my face sometimes, but if you like this, uh, let me know. I love walking, and even though I'm having to concentrate on recording and my walk is substantially shorter than normal, it's nice to not have to stand in one of space. It's nice to not have to face the camera. Just pointing, looking at the pretty leaves and pretty trees and pretty neighborhood. Mm, canopy. And it's a slight canopy. See? The trees kind of merge together. Not much of a canopy. I've actually seen one street up in Indiana where for a long stretch, there were gigantic trees forming a huge, beautiful canopy down the stretch. I've only been down that road once. It was absolutely beautiful. I love canopies. Um, yeah, well, maybe I'll end up asking the rest of you once I actually have money how I should landscape my yard. I mean, I'm not going to do it myself. I'm terrible, terrible at physical activity. How terrible am I? Well, let's see. I have gotten a rash from trying to sod, or help somebody sod. I have injured myself over trying to help somebody drag tree branches out. It's one of the reasons why I still have a tree branch falling in my backyard. Um, I can't stand mowing. It takes me forever, drives me completely batty, and the vibrations cause my arm to start falling asleep. Um... I currently pay somebody to mow my yard. I currently pay... I'm going to be paying somebody to shuffle my sidewalks. Yeah, real fun time. Well, the house is quickly approaching. Hmm. For some reason, I feel like skipping and saying it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So I'm going to. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Now that I've made all of you seasick. Good kitten, everyone. I'm sorry I couldn't show one of my cats this time. 
I'm kind of outside and my cats do not belong outside. I'm not sure how I'm going to vlog for the rest of the week yet. I will see you then. Goodbye.